Hey y'all, how are you? I'm bringing you out here this morning to show you the start of the mini greenhouse that is essentially built right now for free. Uh, we're still working on it and we're gonna make a little changes that will cost a little bit of money, but still nothing compared to what you would have to purchase a greenhouse for or, or make it yourself if you were just gonna go high cost. So I'm going to show you a few things. Um, you'll have to excuse the noise in the background. That's the mill running. And we get some road noise every now and then as well. Uh, after I show you this part, I'll walk you back to a different part where it might be a little bit more quiet. So the screen door on here was free. I got that from my mom's house out of her junk pile. This lattice right here was free. That was setting on the side of the road in a giveaway pile. Okay, it's just dirt floor right now. But I'm going to put the pebbles in here, like the little pebble rocks. These are some lights. They light up really good in the night. It's really pretty out here. Uh, this shelf was free. Got it out of a junk pile. All of the wood is reclaimed wood that was in a junk pile. The light up there was free. Uh, I think somebody gave it to us. I can't remember if it was free or if we found it in a junk pile. This black right here we're going to take off. It's just there for a windbreak for the second uh, till we go get the rest of the poly that we're going to put up there. So then let me show you the poly. Okay, so uh, this is four mil, and it's str even though it's strong, I want some stronger. Uh, so what we decided was that we're going to go, uh, let's see, Home Depot. We went to Home Depot, and they have the six mil, a hundred and something feet for $79. So I'm going to get that, uh, which that'll make my cost go up, you know. $79 on there. This fur, this plastic that we got first, I think I got for $15. So, and we have put it on the top and we put it on the sides right here. But what we decided we're going to do, since I want to go a little stronger on that, is uh, get the six mil for the $79, like I told you. Oh, the wire up on the top of here. That was free in somebody's yard junk pile, too. So, uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead and get the six mil, pay the $79. Then when we were at Home Depot, they have the poly panels. Uh, and they were, I would need three to cover that, and that would be $60. So, $79 for the poly, $60 for the poly panels, and I will have the whole thing everything less than two hundred dollars you know with tax and everything so that's what we're going to do this will be ready to go for all my fall plants there's my little dog zoe she's got to check out things and i'm going to show you some other things in the backyard so you if you could find your reclaimed wood or you know free things around you could get you a little greenhouse if you have somebody who has a little skill to put it up uh for under two hundred dollars or even less. This was a $50 build. Less than $50 actually. Uh, to start out with. That's with the little lights. the You know, little fairy lights and all that stuff. Uh, pretty much nothing into it. So, I'm going to show you a couple other things while we're here. Uh, without looking at some of my junk. <laughs> Those are my Cattle panels, uh, we got to clean all that up, clean up these garden spaces again. Sometimes I try not to clean it up for the winter because all the little creatures, uh, they like to bed up in that during the winter, so we try to keep that, you know, for them. But these little garden spots are going to be redone for spring. Those, we've decided, they will be all... Uh, grapes 
probably grapes this year. We have grapes over on the other one back there. A few of them are still still going, but you know they die out in the wintertime and come back. So let's just do a little walkthrough again. Forgive the noise from the meal. My little fig tree right here suffered really bad in the drought, but it's coming back. Of course, the winter will take it down to the bottom, and it'll come back up again in spring. My elderberry trees, they took a good hit during the drought, but they're coming back really good. There's new growth on them. Where'd it go? New growth right there. So they'll come back pretty good. There's my second one over here. So we have the two elderberry trees and the fig trees as far as trees going. That uh, We have five uh, very mature pecan trees on this property and they're dropping pecans right now. We've got uh, a five gallon bucket full now that we've picked up. So the pecan trees, you know, when you're thinking of food storage and things like that, you got to think what your, you know, your trees, what you, besides your gardens or whatever. So, as I said, there's five mature pecan trees here on this property. So they will produce the nuts. So then this area right here, we're going to put in a fruit orchard. Um... In November is the best time in this area. Well, November through March, well, actually February really, is the best time to go ahead and get your fruit trees planted. So we'll be planting ours. We'll probably, we're going to start out with plum. And so we'll buy them by twos. We're going to go ahead and put um, plum, apple, pear, apricot, and cherry some of them I'm going to get dwarf trees. I'm going to get a couple of the dwarf apple trees. So we'll have fruit earlier than the big trees. But we're going to go ahead and buy uh, six foot tall trees instead of getting the little baby ones. Because I want fruit uh, to come pretty rapidly. Especially with uh, the times that we're in right now. Gonna go walk back further to this property. This is only an acre property, uh, but all of the trees, according to the nursery, will fit on here with no problem at all. All of my dogs have decided it's time to take a break since I'm filming everything. Look. Um. Not what you wanted to see this morning, I'm sure. Ah. But hey, nature calls, I suppose. Most of the pecans down at the bottom have already fallen, but there's some you can see higher up in the trees. I don't know if you'll be able to see them uh, from the video, but this is a pecan tree lick. There's a pecan right there. All the rest of them are higher up and they're dropping off. Like I said, we've already picked up a five gallon bucket full, but see how big that tree is. Those have been there some years and they're all producing. There is a creek on this property as well. Little creek. I don't know if it's got anything in it right now. No, not really. Uh, but during the rainy season, it does push a lot of water through. So I'm not sure I would. Well, I guess if I had a, if I had to, <laughs> and a purifier, maybe. Uh, but you could water your plants and stuff with it. This area back here, we're gonna make into a, a spot that you could do meditation or whatever. Yeah, I come back here to get away from everything. Also, uh, we'll put a like a little camp kitchen back here too if things were rough and or we just needed to be away from the house part. Uh, we could put it back here because you could actually close it off with more trees 
to close in this opening, which I'll show you in a second, a better shot. Well, you may not be able to tell, but you could put more trees here and close this opening off and then you would have all that space back there just hidden and nobody would even know you're back there and stuff so um we started looking at our property what would shield us if we needed to even though this is a neighborhood it's um nobody's we got it we got trees surrounding our whole property line and stuff so you could actually hide back here or get away from things if you needed to uh, once we get that tree system put in like I said then the orchard will be in this whole area we do on this property have hookup for if a family or someone who's willing to help uh, with gardens and stuff needed to come we could pull in a travel trailer there or a regular trailer or build a tiny house there. We will be getting um, a tiny tiny house shed for uh, grocery storage and all of that um, coming in the next couple months, if not faster. That's in the works right now. Uh, oh, we're getting ready to gather our family if we need to. And stuff so are you gathering your family what preparations are you making uh, are you concerned at all about things going on in the world today how about those grocery prices are you able to even get groceries are you having to rely on family to do that uh, now or is it not a problem for you leave me some messages in the comments and uh, let me know what's happening let me know what's happening on your end Okay? Alrighty. Much love, y'all.